hello guys I am Yogesh today I am going to you know demonstrate out that uh, how we can create a data table in ASP.NET using C sharp so let me create uh, my application and I'm just using ASP.NET using C sharp that is why I use the template Visual C sharp and ASP.NET empty website so I have given the name of my project is data table example so let me create this project my project is open now let me add a new page go to add and uh, add new item here I will take uh, web form and my web form is just a data table example ex okay so click on add so my web page is created successfully so here I'm just getting a grid view control as you know this is a it is a database control we generally used when you fetch some data from the database and uh, insert that data into the grid view so it is a you know it's just a table which is used to show your table data your database table data at your web form so let me add it in my div tag okay so whatever uh, what I am going to do I am just going to add a new data table I will create a custom object of data table and uh, I will bind that data table with this grid view control so in order to this let me open uh, C sharp first of all to create a data table instance you have to add a namespace that is using system dot data using system dot data this namespace provide you data table so at page load event let me take is post back I'm not going to tell you that what is the mean of is post back if you want to see that or if you want to understand what is the is post back you can uh, visit my old videos okay so here I will create a instance of data table using uh, data table dt equal to new data table if you want to give the name of your data table you can also do here we have a second overloaded method that is a string table name and I am just adding customer or employee so this data table will be created in in memory and the table name would be employee okay for the simplicity I am just going a very easiest code to create a data table column how we can do this just go dt dot columns dot add so you have a five overloaded method here I am just going to method that is fourth number of overloaded method here it's asking for the column name and type name column name is in string type so it's the custom column name and type whatever data type you want here you can put there okay so my column name is the employee ID I just added it and type you can set type by using the type of method okay it's a variable or method you can say and the type of use uh, I'm just used to going uh, integer okay so I added two two things and I will I have created a column with the employee ID and the employee ID data type is the integer okay so let me add a new another column by using the columns dot add method in this add method I will add employee name and employee name type would be type of string fine so guys we have seen that how we can create the columns in a data table now let me create a data row where uh, uh, the data will be inserted in my custom data table so how we can uh, do this just go and create instance of data row it's an inbuilt object and uh, my data row object is dr so I will pass a method you know which will return the new row 
that is dt dot neuro okay so here i will add field name where i want to add some data i am just using here employee id and uh, i am putting here one it's a dummy data so and the dr and the another field name is the employee name okay so in employee name i will put my name that is yogesh and uh, dr i just i added here now let me add this object in my data table by using a dt dot rows dot add method it's a collection method collection add method here you can clearly see that it's asking for the data row row object okay so whatever row object i created here i'm just adding so in the same way just copy and paste you can also create another object of data row like this and the uh, data row object should not be similar like this uh, previous so let me change it here and dr1 dr1 okay and make here two and change the data also fine so it's a very easiest approach you know by using the you know data table uh, you can also create primary keys you can also set uh, that uh, this particular uh, field should not be null and various constraints you can also put in data table object so but i am not going to uh, going to deep in that i will create uh, some videos also on based on the, the com on based on the complexity of data table so in here i'm just uh, going to create a simple and simplest uh, you know uh, data table uh example okay so let me create a grid view data source i'm just uh, passing the data source uh that is dt okay so my grid view will be bind with the my custom data table and to show that data we have to call the method that is a data bind method fine so let me execute this program and see so guys uh, so guys you can see here that uh, my data table is successfully created my columns name that is the employee id and employee name with a bold uh, you know text it's a default feature of data table I, I i do not do anything for that so it's a very simplest uh, program okay so guys if you like this video then so please uh, subscribe my channel i will upload videos based on esp.net mvc as well so thanks for watching